Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with my knife and a box because we are going to do an unboxing of this beautiful product. This is Les Brew Coffee. This is a blowout hopper or this is also called bellow. You need to understand what a bellow is first. A bellow is nothing but a instrument or a device constructed like this to furnish a strong blast of air. So what does that do? This will be connected or replaced as a hopper for your grinder. So why do we need a device like this, a blood hopper? Now, have you heard of grinder retention? Now, if you understand what a grinder retention is, then you will need a device like this. Grinder retention is nothing but, let's say you put 18 grams of beans into the grinder hopper and have you measured the output? you may not get 18 grams out. You may get 17 point something or even 16 point something grams out. Why? Because the grinder, the, the inner area of the grinder or the burrs, they, they keep some grinds and it may not fully come out uh, and dispensed into the, into the powder filter. So that's the, that's the reason why you need a device like this and the Les Brew Coffee Blot Hopper will solve your issue. So I'm going to put this on test. I'm going to first unbox this and see what is inside. And I would like to give a shout out to Christine who contacted me and sent me this product for review. This product is from Malaysia, proudly made in Malaysia. And I'll be leaving the link in the description below if you want to buy one of this. This is 3D printed. They've improved a lot in their quality. They are very serious about the product and there is important information and instruction they have provided. Once you follow it, you will be able to use this for a very long time. So without wasting time, let's unbox this. Now this particular model is for Breville Barista Express. That is the BS. Let me show you the model number. This is for the BES 870. It can work also for BES 860 because the, the size is exactly the same. So that's a website and uh, that's a part number. So that's the blot hopper and it comes with some instruction that's all in the box. Okay, so this is what it comes in the box. Let's brew coffee. And also the connector. And the instruction booklet. Okay, I really like this sticker. It says keep calm and blow the two grams out. I'm sure if you are using a lot of espresso, you will have this issue, two grams issue, because that's what is missing always whenever you weigh 18 grams and you get 16 out. Okay, so this will fix the issue. Let's see. First thing before installing, you need to clean the grinder. 
all the remaining grinds and the coffee beans. So I'm going to use a vacuum. And it looks clean now. It's very important to follow the user guide. All you do is open your phone camera and point it here to scan the QR code. If it didn't work, you could go to this website directly. When you scan the QR code, this website pops up. So you could do either way. So according to the user guide, the first thing they say is to wash the, the blot hopper thoroughly using soap. So that's what we are going to do now. And then we will install it. Next thing is make sure all these parts are very dry before even you install into the machine. Uh, if it is not dry, the coffee grinds are going to stick onto this and it won't work properly. So another thing is make sure you store it away from direct sunlight or any heat because this, is, this can deform and if it deforms, then it may not work properly. And also don't, do not over pressurize or over press this item. Um, so those are the things to keep in mind. So let's, let me dry this out and install it now. Now that I have cleaned the blowout hopper and the base, I'm going to show you how to install it. It's really simple. First thing is you need to install the base. Uh, so th there is a notch here on one side, not on the other side. So this notch should be facing toward you and uh, that's how you're going to install in here. Now there is a little cut in your grinder right there. Now in the same way, there's another cut here, right here. Now, if you look closely, you, you see a black color there, but if you zoom out on the other direction toward you, you'll see a white cap. That's where you need to install it. Let me try to give you a close up. There you see the white cap. That's what you're going to push using this notch. Okay, so let's install it now. And if you try to point the notch the other way facing there, then your grinder won't get engaged. So make sure it's facing toward you. So, Make sure that notch goes into the cut there and simply press the other side. Just push and engage it. That's it. And to confirm that you have engaged it properly, look at this light, it will stop flashing. And now you can take the second piece and simply push it down with both hands. Make sure you're holding uh, on the second layer here. And here it's soft, do not press there. Again, here it's soft. This is silicon and this is also silicon. So press it here, it's a bit firm on the second layer. So use both hands and push it down straight down till it sits properly. That's it. Now, same thing again to disengage, you use both hands and press where I showed you and twist it and it will come off easy, simple. Okay, so once you have engaged, uh, you could open this little cap, turn it counterclockwise and you can open this and then you can put your beans in there and lock it. So all I do is open the cap. So everything went in. And also note that don't push this bellow while the grinder is engaged. It is strongly recommended to use this after the grinder is done. Okay, it sounds fully done. Now all I'm going to do is just push it three times three times that's it I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing video and now you know how to install this less brew 
blood hopper or bellow on Breville Barista Express. It's so simple, just follow the instructions that I showed you and make sure uh, it's not loose, you properly tighten it. If it's a bit loose, the air can escape through the side. Uh, if the air escapes, it won't work efficiently. So make sure you install correctly and then you'll be able to get a good result out of this. And on my next video, we'll put this on test. We'll put 18 grams in and see how much it will come out and how efficient this is. So let's find out, stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and please like the button if you enjoy this. So see you next time and we'll test this on my next video. Bye for now.